Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys how I got this restoration hardware vibe and look in doing an extreme bedroom makeover on my daughter Kyra's room. So this is the room on my first floor of my town home. Um, this is basically my last decor project in the home before I started like doing renovation projects and moving outdoor and to the garage and stuff like that. So I finally finished this room. I definitely wanted it to have a restoration hardware feel and look, but for less. So you can get this room and the look of this room for less than $4,000. Yes, I did say less than $4,000 because while I love restoration hardware, their pieces are so luxurious. It's just really, really expensive. I won't say it's out of my budget, but it's super, super expensive and I just cannot fathom spending that much money on furniture when I know that I can get to look for this. So I'm going to show you guys where everything came from. This is a detailed video showing you guys what sizes I got, placement, why I chose what I chose and everything. And this video is sponsored by Lowell. I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. They sent over the original Lowell mattress and also a few things for the bed and I will show you guys later on in the video but I also just want to send a thanks to them for sending over this mattress for Kyron's room because everybody loves Kyron so yeah if you guys are interested in this video and wanted to see where everything came from and where I got everything please continue to watch all right again I do want to thank Lowe for sponsoring today's video I'm going to show you guys how I unbox um, it I was basically putting Kyron's rooms together and um, this is how the box comes it comes fully compressed and wrapped in plastic it is really heavy but i'm telling you if i can do it by myself with nails on then you can unbox this bad boy by yourself with nails on as well so you don't need two people but what i like to do is i like to walk it over to the bed first and then i lay it on the bed as is completely wrapped in the plastic and then i cut the plastic off now ideally you would want to make sure that it's on the right side so once it pops out of the plastic and you cut it out you don't have to flip the mattress over because I mean it is a little heavy but you can do it by yourself I ended up having to flip it as you will end up seeing but like I said you can do it by yourself it doesn't require two people now what I love about the low mattress versus a traditional memory foam mattress is that it stays cool throughout the night. It bounces back so there's no sinking in, no trampolining, no feeling stuck. When someone gets in the bed you don't really feel it. It's a very quiet sleep and not only that but it supports your back. It has a three layer technology that promotes healthy spine alignment so you really don't even need to sleep with pillows honestly. The low mattress is Certi PUR US certified which means all all materials are non-toxic and non-carcinogenic. It relieves pressure, so say goodbye to morning aches and pains. Proper alignment allows your muscles to rest throughout the night, plus it distributes motion. So sleep undisturbed when a partner or pets shift around and it lasts long. So there's no sagging and the durable materials hold strong for a great sleep over time. Okay, so if you guys did not know, this is not my first low mattress. I too have a low mattress in my bedroom that's a king size. And you guys know everybody loves Kyron. So of course they were so gracious to send over a queen size mattress for her bedroom as well as an entire bed set. So two pillows, a sheet set, a duvet, a duvet cover. And you guys will see that later on in the video when I make the bed. But I just really wanted to emphasize how easy it is to unbox this mattress it's super convenient it comes straight to your door and you can easily have your shipper or the person that delivers bring it into the room they will also do that for you as well low also has a 365 night stress-free trial free shipping and easy returns a lifetime warranty and you guys can get six hundred dollars off a low mattress if you decide to purchase which i highly recommend and if you do want to purchase your first low mattress all you have to do is click the link in the description box and you guys will get $600 off your Lowell mattress automatically at checkout. Thanks again to Lowell for sponsoring today's video. All right, first let's talk about this gorgeous, gorgeous bed. This canopy bed I actually got from Wayfair. Most of everything in this room I honestly got from Wayfair because I wanted the restoration hardware look, but I wanted it for less. And when it came to searching for the items that I was looking for, everything was honestly readily 
available and easily to find on Wayfair. It took a few days for me to put everything together in my head and envision everything, but I was basically able to find what I wanted from Restoration Hardware on Wayfair for Less. And this canopy bed, I definitely love. Um, I got it in a queen size. It comes with everything to put it together even the slats you don't need a box spring all you pretty much need is whatever mattress you choose to put on it and how you de want it to decorate it um, i battled with wanting to get it in a king or a queen because this bedroom is really large it's actually larger than my previous bedroom in my previous townhome um, so I could have definitely got this in a king size and it would have filled up the room But I wanted this room to be airy and spacious and just have a very clean and minimal vibe So I went with the queen size because this is Kyron's room and it will also double as a guest room when she's not here and visiting her other side of the family child. So That's where I got the bed Okay, one of the signatures that I noticed with Restoration Hardware's interior design is that they like to put two mirrors on the sides of the headboard. And when I was going for and looking for a specific type of mirror on Wayfair, you know that they have thousands of mirrors to choose from. I wanted something sleek, edgy, minimal, like not a lot of going on. Basically, a basic floor mirror that doubles as a wall mirror, right? So when these came in the mail, it had the, the kickstand on it because these are floor mirrors. I thought that I ordered the wrong mirror, but you can actually just unscrew the kickstand off and it comes with mounting hardware where you can put it on the wall. This sits flat to the wall. I mean, it's you can't get mounting this mirror wrong. And I have it where it, it it's almost like it's sitting right on top of the nightstand and then it it goes almost all the way to the ceiling excuse me you guys it's my ring but it goes all the way up to the ceiling and i noticed that also with um restoration hardware they use really tall mirrors on the sides of their headboard they don't usually get the small ones like i have in my room these they typically start from the the top of the nightstand and go all the way up as far to the ceiling as possible so um in terms of getting that restoration hardware vibe and feel in your room, you definitely want to get a tall mirror. And if you can find a floor mirror that you can mount on the wall, that's going to be perfect. Now the lamp, I actually got this lamp from at home. It's a mixed match lamp. So it comes, this comes by itself and then this comes by itself. So you can have the option to put white lampshades or a black lampshade because this room is mostly um, accented with black and neutral I chose black lampshades because the headboard is cream I wanted to offset all of the cream with uh, touches of black as well and this muted gold or, or uh, whatever kind of gold that is is not really bright um, and it matches the the nightstand handles Okay, now moving on to this dresser here. I thought that this dresser was super edgy and it reminded me of something that I would see at Restoration Hardware. The color, the type of material. This is a, a plywood, I believe, but just the whole look of it gave me Restoration Hardware. I didn't want to pick something that was extremely glamorous. I wanted something that would be the vibe that matched a restoration hardware look, right? Um, so this is a six drawer dresser. It did come minimally damaged. Um, there were a few cracks in the plywood and things like that, but I decided to keep it instead of reaching out to the manufacturer and trying to replace it because I had a deadline of when I wanted to get this room done. It was extremely discouraging to see um, all of the damages to it so I would definitely keep in my, keep that in mind if you guys choose to like buy this um, the likelihood of it coming damaged is really really high so yeah um, but like I said it was pretty easy to put together the drawers come in and out um, it's a lot of space in the drawers and I definitely wanted to uh, have 
something where you know she can put most of her clothes that needed to be folded inside and i love the look it's nice and sleek and edgy and it just definitely like screamed restoration hardware even though this isn't exactly real wood all right this beautiful velvet cream chair is also from wayfair i was looking for something that matched the headboard um when i looked at this chair and i seen this chair it did take sifting through a few pages to find this chair um but i was looking for something that screamed i would see this in a restoration hardware showroom and when you're on wayfair finding that specific chair because i wanted a chair with the handles and the, the, the sides of this because this is what you would typically see as an accent chair in a restoration hardware showroom. Um, so it was kind of difficult finding the chair that I was looking for and then I came across this one after sifting through multiple pages. I came across this one when I seen it. I immediately added to my cart because I said it matches the headboard perfectly. It's almost like it's the same design of the headboard. It's the same color cream because the color wheels with these creams and beiges and ivories, it could get a little funny, but it's the exact same color as the cream. It just matched perfectly and I felt like it would be perfect right here in the corner to help kind of fill up the room but not use up a lot of space because we want to keep the room minimal um, without overcrowding it. I don't want to maximize all of the space in the room. I do want it to still feel airy and, and clean. So this is the chair that I chose. It's extremely comfortable. Oh my God, it's so comfortable. This is literally like the perfect space to just sit and read a book and vibe out. And this test lamp here, perfect. I mean chef's kiss because when you want to just sit in, your, in the corner read a book or meditate this is going to be the perfect space to do that this test lamp i also got from wayfair i was expecting it to be a little lower but now that i got it it's it's almost the same tone of gold it's more like a polished gold but it's a little more yellow than the gold in the chair but it doesn't matter you can't really tell gold is gold whether it's um a dull gold a chromed out gold or polished gold it's still gold so i mean it is what it is but i like the height of it now because i feel like if it was too low it would be kind of annoying to sit right here and read a book because you might keep hitting the lamp so i like the height of it this like i said i also got from wayfair all right these nightstands here also got from wayfair they match the six drawer dresser to the T like they are the match for the dresser. They have two pretty spacious drawers that comes with it, but also a nice space here where you can put maybe a book or your remotes and things like that. I love this because I feel like I would see a nightstand similar to this in a restoration hardware showroom. Definitely a lot bigger. I was looking for a nightstand that was really wide, but I wanted to stay within a certain price range because there are a lot of expensive nightstands on uh, Wayfair. You can definitely find something similar to Restoration Hardware with the same price point on Wayfair because a lot of Wayfair items can be a bit pricey. I wanted to stay within a specific price range. This comes in a set of two nightstands and it was about $250, I believe. So. You get the look for less. I love that. This little piece here, I got this from at home. This is just an accented gold knickknack that I wanted to add to the nightstand. And this was $19.99. All right, one of the most extra about things is this bad boy here, this rug. This rug is absolutely beautiful and I got it from Wayfair. You're going to want to get, if you want to really use up a lot of space in your room and you have a pretty large room, you wanna, you're you going to want to get a 9 by 12 rug or larger. So Kyron, my daughter, she wanted carpet in her room, but the first floor is all stained concrete. Um, carpet would have took some time to put in and I just didn't really want to do that right now. So I decided to go with a really large rug and um, I think this may be the largest one, but they may go up to 
um, an 11 by 14 I'm not sure but I decided to get this 9 by 12 now this is actually a beige gray and black rug but when you lay it down and you put the cream mattress uh, the cream uh, bed on top of it you really cannot tell the difference between the cream and the beige so if you have a cream bed this rug is gonna match perfectly all right the sheer curtains I actually got from home goods these were a mix and match so some of the sheer curtains with the print are actually from home goods and then the solid sheer where they're a little bit more transparent i actually bought from bed bath and beyond so they were like eight dollars a piece and then these here they have like a, a print in them so they're see-through from the inside but from the outside with the shades up you can't typically see inside of the room which i love um so they have these little lines uh in double threaded through them i like it i feel like it matches the rug and it goes with the vibe of the room really well because there are accents of like paint splatter and lines and uh, we play with different textures in the room to give um a different a different type of vibe in the room so i like these because um you can't see through, through them from the outside and these came from home goods and they were like 24.99 for a pair so super super affordable next i got these three art pieces and i got three instead of two because you would typically see two side by side in a room right but in restoration hardware i noticed that they tend to maximize the space on walls so they would typically fill it up with like a gallery um art vibe of a, a lot of different art pieces so i didn't want to like put too much on the wall but i did want to put three gold art pieces here i love that they came framed um and this in the middle is just like this paint splattered gold art pieces so i feel like it plays on the different lines and textures in the room um so i put them on top of each other because i felt like this is what you would typically see in a restoration hardware showroom um, especially when it comes to being over that accent chair that's in a corner it's always when you go in a showroom you'll always see an accent chair right there in the corner beside the six drawer dresser and it'll be some type of art above it with even an art light sometimes but since we have the task lamp here i decided to go with just three art pieces going all the way up to the ceiling all right so this over here is just a nice beautiful vase that i got from at home this vase was $89.99 and the Orca Pompous I got from CB2. Unfortunately, they are phasing out of this Pompous. They're going with a different trend for the new year. So it may be a little difficult to, to get this, uh, I think they call it Hanging Pompous, which I absolutely love. It is a little high maintenance when you first take it out of the box. You definitely have to spray it with some type of holding spray because it sheds really, really bad um, and the leaves will fall off. So you have to be careful. Once you set it, you do have to forget about it and not bump into it because it sheds like hair, like almost like dandruff. Um, but it adds a really beautiful like tone and vibe to any room but i won't say any room because if you have more like a glam and colorful room i don't think that pompous looks good in glam rooms i think greenery calls for glam and neutral calls for pompous that's just my opinion though I'm, I i'm not generalizing it and i just started in interior design so if you disagree that's fine we could just agree to disagree okay you don't have to like put it in the comments so with me getting the queen size bed, I gained more space in this wall area here. And so I didn't want this to be this large empty space. And I felt like a base with pompous would just really complete this entire wall right here without maximizing all of the space and still making it and leaving it airy, but accenting this, this specific side of the wall in this area right here. All right, I know y'all want to know where I got this beautiful bed scarf from. This bad boy is from Amazon. It was $25. You might even be able to find one for less. But when we're talking canopy beds, 
when you think of canopy beds like when i was little canopy beds literally you had that bed scarf that was like going all around the bed but now what what more trends is just like a little accent scarf so you can do one at the headboard and one at the foot uh, of the bed i just wanted to do one at the foot of the bed to really complete the room um and bring a more girly feel to it a more princess vibe to the room so i did the foot of the bed and this is actually in the shade beige um but if you look at it it looks like it matches the headboard and it goes with the room but this is actually a beige scarf but i feel like it's perfect when it comes to creams beiges ivories whites off whites you can typically play with them without people really noticing because too much white almost looks muted anyway so you want to kind of like accent it with different colors and textures this art piece here i actually picked up from at home i think this was about I want to say this was $79. I want to say this was $49.99, but I, they just recently inflated all of their prices, especially on the art pieces. So this is now a $79.99 art piece. But I do not think that's how much I spent on it. I want to say the price of it is still on the back of it, but I don't want to unhang it. But yeah, when I look at it, it looks like a mother here and a daughter like sitting right in here and she's kind of like coddling her daughter this may just be one person sitting there though but when i look at it it looks like a mother and her daughter and i just thought that this went really well with the room i love that it's framed in black so we have some different you know art pieces that are framed with the gold and the black because because i definitely wanted this to be a neutral room with a pop of gold all right, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but I have the IKEA curtain rack system here from wall to wall. And I wanted to do floor to ceiling curtain shears. So I didn't want to use curtain rods. Um, I just really wanted to maximize the height of the room and really emphasize the height of the ceilings. So these were really easy to hang. You guys can check out my previous vlog and I show you guys basically a mini tutorial of how to hang these bad boys they're super super easy and if you really want them to fit your um wall space all you have to do is get like a hacksaw and you can cut them to your different measurements to your wall so they're super easy to hang all right so let's talk about this beautiful freaking bed okay i already told you guys that low sense over the mattress so this is a really really comfortable sleep um, and then they also sent over the duvet and the duvet cover. So I don't have the duvet cover on it yet because I want to wash it and iron out the wrinkles. But this duvet is so soft. It literally feels like you're sitting on a pillow. Um, it has some type of insert in it. So um, it looks like little small pillows on, on like inside the little squares. These throw pillows are actually from CB2. If you guys watched my previous vlog, you saw that I went in CB2 and I picked these up. So all of these are from CB2 and they were super affordable. They weren't $24.95. I don't know why I thought that this throw pillow was going to be like $100 because Z Gallery, their pillows are extremely expensive. But these throw pillows, I actually already had the insert, so I, I just bought the covers, throw pillow covers. And yeah, they were $24.95. And I'm going to see if I can find these on the website so I can have everything linked in the description box for you guys. But yeah, I think that that is the entire room from beginning to end. I'm still working on the bathroom. It's extremely minimal and I don't think you guys need to see that right now um but if you want to see a bathroom makeover just let me know i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very informative if you decide to recreate this room please tag me on instagram so i can see it let me know that i inspired you guys i love that i have i have really enjoyed decorating my home and this was the last home decor project for the interior so now we're going to move to the exterior and do 
a little fun stuff out in the garage so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up it really helps my channel i love talking to you guys so if you have any questions leave them in the comment box below and i will read them and answer them and yeah thank you so so much for watching and on to the next project Grab hold of my head.